Hi, this is Natalie from NellyDesign.com. Today on the 12 Christmas Craft Challenge, we are midway and we're going to decorate this cute candle that comes from my favorite store, Ikea, of course. And you'll see it's very easy to make and it would, would make a really nice gift if you go to visit someone. So let's do this. The candle I'm using is called Sinlig from Ikea. I will link to it on my blog. It has three comes in three sizes. It's the three and a half inch size. So to cut the, the little pieces of vinyl, I'm using my cutting mat and the, the grid on it to, uh, to gauge the size I want it. Just by looking at my screen, I know where the, the design is going to end on my mat so I can uh, cut a, a bit of vinyl just a little bit bigger. So on the back of the vinyl, uh, Cricut Vinyl, it's written Premium Vinyl, so that's the one I'm going to choose in Cricut Design Space. And while it's cutting, well, we're going to take all the plastic and uh, everything off the candle. And to ma make sure the vinyl is uh, sticking properly, uh, I'm using rubbing alcohol. And just rubbing alcohol on it. <laughs> okay, that's not funny. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed, but my bottle is right there at the left. Yeah, better take my bottle off. <laughs> That's really the kind of mess I can make. Okay, so now I'm going to use a Cricut Bright Pad to remove uh, the excess of vinyl. Um, it really helps to see. Unfortunately, it doesn't really... You can't really see it well on the camera, so... But what I noticed is that the pieces were so tiny, they were moving on the backing of the vinyl, and I didn't like that. So I thought, well, time to show my people how to do reverse weeding. So that's what we're going to do. Reverse weeding is pretty simple. You just cut the piece of transfer paper like I'm doing right now, and you just apply it all over the vinyl that is not weeded yet. Then you turn it over and you remove the backing of the vinyl. So you're left with all vinyl and now you're going to remove the excess. So the, what you want to keep will already be sticking to um, the transfer paper, which is really stickier than the backing of the vinyl, so it won't move. Everything will be sticking to your fingers, I'm telling you. That's why I'm cutting with scissors at some point. And you just go slowly. Make sure you remove all the little pieces and that you stick them somewhere. You don't want to be losing them um, on your mat. or. So I'm taking the bright pad out for you because it really didn't help for you to see and my, my my objective is for you to understand and see everything I'm doing so that's why you see my head a little bit more I'm trying to see better <laughs> at some point it was really hard to get to the tiny pieces so I'm using another tool that comes with the weeding tool it really helps because this one can just Dig in the the vinyl and get and lift all the little pieces. So I really like this one. You just stick it in there and lift the vinyl. Don't you think there's something satisfying about weeding? I don't know. I think it... I like it when I see the, res the final result. and It's really satisfying, I think. Don't you? So here the I'm finally finished. If you previously aligned the letters with the lines on the transfer paper, it will be easier for you to align uh, the words on the candle because you'll you'll be able to follow the lines on the transfer paper. So you just rub it really hard. Using the scraper is really 
useful. And now I'm noticing that I'm missing a little part, but that's okay. I'll just remove the transfer paper and we'll just weed it out uh, directly on the candle. No problems, only solutions. There you go. Come back in two days, we're going to be making a gift tag for your secret Santa. It will be a really special gift tag, so I can't wait to show you. See you. Bye.